Hello everybody, welcome to the Fightrends video. Along with our partners, Dubai News, the TV, we're bringing you another very interesting topic today. Like before, we will uh, discuss uh, the, our experience, a learning experience and a knowledge to share with you today about investing into the stock market. We will try as far as possible to keep it simple and easily understandable. But I must say here that we're not trying to recommend any particular stock market or any particular stock to invest into in these videos. Instead, we're only going to share with you our learning experience and data points which could be helpful for you to make your own investment decisions. We're going to include here today our 25 to 26 years of history of trading in the stock markets as well as keeping into account the history of 80 to 100 years that's available uh, uh, on the web. Uh, because we're going to talk about such large uh, history uh, or extended history period, we want to focus our discussions today on the US stock markets, but it's very much possible that you will see some similarities with uh, uh, other stock markets as well. One simple rule uh, we would like to mention here that if you are into investing into the index, be it S&P or Dow or Nasdaq, the returns would depend on how long you have remained invested for rather than when you invested. Of course, uh, I mean, uh, if you're lucky and you can time the market very well like professional investors, uh, that returns would be amazing. But usually the way it goes that usually we get afraid uh, during the market downturns and we don't invest or we sell at those times thereby losing a lot of money and the smart investors are those that make tons of money during those times so rather than trying to time the market what is important is to have a very long term investment horizon which will help you in, in, in taking out the cyclical uh, returns that happens during those times. Of course, uh, if you can identify a particular business which could grow significantly in the next 20 to 40 years, you could have earned a significant amount of wealth uh, as a result of investing into those companies. But it may not be true for most of us uh, uh, who, to, to identify that. That's why in this particular video, we're going to keep our discussions only on the index investing and see where that takes us from here. We usually find that not many investors have a very long term horizon. So what happens is that when there is a market downturn or there's a correction in the market, they usually get afraid uh, and they, they sell the stocks. And as a result, they lose quite a bit of money and they get afraid of the stock markets and they stay away from the markets. On top of that, if they're levered, the losses are significant, which means they decide not never to go back to the market that it's not a great, great place for them to make money. And that only happens because they don't have a long-term investment horizon doing uh, SIPs or small investments uh, over a period of time in, in, into the markets. Uh, the other big investment, uh, uh, I think, mistake uh, done by investors is that they think they can time the market. I mean, that might be true for professional day traders, but it's not true for most of us. Uh, uh, trying to trade the market would mean that you would like to buy at the right time and sell at the right time, which makes it extremely difficult to beat the market on long term. And all kinds of data will tell you that that's impossible to do almost always. This almost means that for the non-professional investors, they, they might, by trying to time the market, they might make a few gains sometimes, but when they lose, they lose so big that they get afraid of the market and they don't want to go back to the market again. I'd like to again state that having a long-term investment horizon would certainly help us to have a certain kind of stable returns. By contrast, by trading would, could lead to at least two downfalls that I can think of uh, today. It could lead us to sell at the wrong time when the markets are going down, we get afraid, we sell it. On top of that, what could happen is that when the markets usually recover, which eventually happens all the time, 
and they might we might be able to recoup our losses and make actually more profit and that is what is a chance that we might miss by having this short term trading uh, attitude in fact the data would show you that in the last 45 years uh, uh, between uh, 1975 to 2019 you'd have only 10 years where you have the stock markets have gone down so that would tell you that if you would have a longer term investment horizon that would always help you to go through that bad time and come back and make higher returns the data point will tell you that the s&p 500 index with with the 2008 2009 crisis took almost 4 years to recover back to its 2007 high and uh, since that time after that since 2009 to 2019 if you see the whole 10 years you'll see that then the returns uh, per annum became about 17.8 17.9% so which would mean that if you would have got afraid and sold out your stocks or your index in 2008 9 Uh, you would have in a big big loser instead if you would have hold it for those 10 years period you would have had a irr internal rate of return of 17.8 17.9% over that period one thing i can tell you from my experience that even the best of the stocks could have a bad day a week a month a year or two years but eventually if they fundamentally sound companies the businesses are sound a good management team they will always recover and do well uh, that's why Uh, if you take examples of any stocks today amazon apple wayfair uh, you know, netflix you take any example and you will see that at different points in time that could have been a serious severe correction but eventually because the business model is right the team management is right it will always recover and do much better so if you sell out during the bad time periods you will lose money in those investments like we have discussed in one of our previous videos about the compounding interest the benefits of compounding interest similarly with investments also if you are a longer term investor you would always make money and we 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 suggest that to be the index but you could choose your own uh, you know investment philosophy that you might have like you will see that uh, almost 3 years out of 4 always the stock markets have done better and only in one year out of the four there would be loss on average for the last um, uh, 45 years that we talked about apart from those of course uh, trading less would mean uh, i think there are some simple benefits that would come out of it you would be paying less brokerage fees and in many countries which differentiate between a short term capital gains and long term capital gains you might benefit being a long term investor than being a short term investor Before we end the video I would like to again mention that we are trying to create a community of professionals who can share their experience and learnings through short videos and podcasts through our channel which we would like to share with our viewers and send it to us at hello@fightrends.com and we will make sure that we try to make it popular among our community.